everybody, this is Roxy, and I have been tagged for the, um, it's either 11 or 20 products that you love. Um, I think it's either that you got in 2011 or that you s discovered or used a lot. I don't know what the deal is, but <laughs> anyways, Bona tagged me, as did, um, and she's Live Love Scrap, as did Bridget, who is um, Shoe Princess. And so, here I go. Um, okay, I put all my stuff in one of my little trunks, or little suitcases. Um, I found this at the Junk Bonanza last September. And earlier in the year, I was at a garage sale and found three fabulous suitcases that have original um, destination stickers on them. And so, um, I got those for $3 each the three big suitcases and then this one I, I paid fifteen dollars and it had two extra pockets in it from another suitcase and I upcycled those into evening purses and I showed that uh, excuse me if about um, probably two months ago I think or a month and a half ago <clears throat> I, I decorated those but anyway so suitcases are my new um, like I've had I've, I've got suitcases from the past I have one up on my um, in my art layer here that I use as kind of a display case. I bought that years and years ago at a garage sale. And then I have a couple more that I just stack up in one of our guest bedrooms just for show. But these new ones that I got, um, I was so excited about them and then I got them home. And as some of you know, I have a lot of allergies. And I opened one of the suitcases and it was... I could, you know, like if there's mold or if there's any kind of ragweed or whatever, I smell it right away as do anybody with allergies. You just know the smell. Like other people, I go, you know, can you smell that? Nobody could really smell it, but I could and my uh, asthma would get going. So I was really bummed about it. So I, I heard that you could put charcoal in there, you know, inside to get rid of that smell. So I, I chopped up a bunch of charcoal and I left it sit in the garage inside all these suitcases and about you know I left it there for like over a month and I I put it out you know somebody said well put it out in the sun because that didn't work and somebody said well put it out in the sun and the sun will beat it out so I did that <clears throat> for like three days that didn't work and then I thought well I'll try Febreze so I was outside in front of my garage spraying the inside of these suitcases with Febreze and my neighbor was outside with his uh well, Bill calls it their drinking buddy. It's this woman that hangs around with our two neighbors. But anyways, she came over, and this is, like, hilarious. She came over, and she goes, she goes, are you trying to get some smell out of your suitcase? And I said, yeah, I, it just smells real moldy. And she goes, she goes, I got us. Oh, this is the one who told me about the charcoal. That's what it was. Okay, so I, I told it in backwards. She's the one who told me about the charcoal now that I think of it. Anyway, she goes, oh, yeah, she goes, well, this is going to sound weird, but my brother died and was in his house for a few days. And to get the smell out of the house, the cleaning service used charcoal and the smell dissipated. So that's when I tried the charcoal. But anyways, nothing worked. Not even the, you know, it can get a dead body smell out of a house, evidently, but I couldn't get the mold out of the suitcase. So what I did was I ended up, and I didn't want to do this because they were in such good condition, but I ended up tearing out the lining of some of the really bad suitcases, and then I just um, covered them with burlap. And I'll show you that. I did it with this one too because the bottom of this one, it smells fine, the lining's fine, but the bottom must have torn because they had ripped it out and put um, contact paper down. So I didn't want that. So I, on this one, I tore the... Anyways, so that's... <laughs> oh, I babble too much. So that's my first favorite thing of that I started using more in 2011 were my suitcases. Because what I do is... <clears throat> excuse me. When I go to a sale, um, some friends of mine and I have a vintage sale uh, three times a year. And then one of the gals has of our group has a Valentine sale. And then I go to a couple of Christmas boutique sales that I, you know, pay the fee and set up my, my little dog and pony show. 
And this is the best idea I came up with, and I'm sure I didn't invent it, but I put all my stuff for sale right inside all my suitcases, and then when I get to the show, bang, you open it up, and it's like everything's there because I got it nice and neat. You know, I can, like, if I want to display it more like this, I can just move stuff around. But otherwise, I've got one suitcase that has cards in it, another one that has... Um, the little purses that I made, like, oops, like, oops, like these. You know, I've just got little purses with candies in them. I gotta fix those too. So that was that's one of my best favorite things is the suitcases and trying to get them to not smell. So, but this is a really great idea. Even if you're going to a crop, what fun way to bring your crap, I mean your stuff, sorry, than in a vintage suitcase. So that's number one. <clears throat> number two, um, everybody is, or not everybody, but hopefully people are following me. I'm doing an um, inspiration card of the week, and I'm using these cards, Northridge Publications. I just, I mean, I've had, I've been getting, you know, I buy them once in a while, but I started subscribing to a few of them last year because it's cheaper in the long run to subscribe than to go to Barnes and Nobles or wherever and and buy one issue because you're really almost buying double the price on the newsstand. So I subscribe to a few of the Northridge publications and that's kind of, you know, give me a lot of inspiration. Um, another thing is um, vintage lace. I went to town this year. Every flea market or... Um, antique sale or antique store wherever I went garage sale I had scrubby on the lookout because he likes to go to estate sales and I bought as much vintage lace as I could get my hands on so that's another <clears throat> fun thing um, my gypsy I bought a gypsy this year and I love it I didn't think I would I, I thought all oh, you know all these electronics you can't turn around without having to do some electronic thing so I bought a gypsy and I love it I I learned how to weld I learned how to um, let's see what else did I do oh like you can put cuts on top of cuts you know like if you got a like a, I did a triangle by honor and I wanted a circle in the middle of it so I just did a triangle by honor from one um, cricket cartridge and then I found a, a circle from another and you know, welded them together, and I had a I printed out banners with circles in them, so I could do something funky with it. So that's my gypsy. <clears throat> um, Beck Witty, whenever she sends in a a journal spot for your paper pantry, not every time, but she's she kind of turned me on to the crimper, as did um, Yoli. But Beck Becky was um, she she puts her paper bags in there crimps the end of it and it's just a really cool just a nice touch um, I had a crimper from days gone by it's, but it was narrow and I swear to God every time I put something in it it automatically went crooked no matter what I did so instead of you know getting rid of it I've held on to it for probably 15 years but now I've got one that I painted accidentally but it actually works so that's really cool and this was just I didn't realize it I was going to um, order one, and Yoli said, no, just go to Michael's. They've got them right on the shelf. So I got that, and then this is like Martha Stewart hit it home run on her paints. You can paint on any surface, glass, plastic, whatever, or you can use it as an acrylic for a mixed media project on a canvas. So this, I've, I've got just about every color I think she's got. But this is the best paint. It's really nice and creamy. Like, you know, once in a while, if you want to use folk art paint, that's great. But I just find that this is a better quality paint. Um, so check out her Martha Stewart. Um, she's got high gloss, matte, glitter, uh, you name it, metallics. Okay, then for um, this is fun. This is Donna Salazar's um, Fairy Dust Glitter. And it is super, super fine. And um, like this one is Sugar Shimmer. And there's kind of some iridescent colors. But she's got really cool colors of glitter. Like one is um, Berry 
I think just berry something. And it's just all these little pretty purples and reds together that just very subtle. Um, and then what she also has is a, a glue gloss. I think this is hers. She at least uses it. But what this is, it's a lip gloss type thing, but it's glue. So you can just touch, you know, ch -ch -ch little parts of your flower and then shake on your sugar shimmer. And, I, you know, obviously I bought, part of the reason why I like this is because of the shaker. You know, I mean, you can put it, your glitter in a vintage shaker like this, but I thought this was a really great idea, way to um, package it. And this glue, glue gloss is really cool. I like it. It's fun. All right, for stamps, my three favorite companies this year are Stampotique. I think they are the cutest. I mean, at first I thought, yikes, but they really grow on you. I mean, if you, you know, if you see some of the projects they make, they're super cute, and they're just kind of a fun little funky stamp. Um, Unity stamp, um, I've had some in the past when they started, you know, when they came out. But this year I just really, um, Peachy Cheap had some deals on them, so I bought a bunch of packages off Peachy Cheap. And they're just really nice, clever, kind of girly stamps to have. Um, and then of course La Blanche. This one is, uh, reminds me of my little friend Mouse. Um, and they're just, these are super cool. I just got some of the La Blanche paper, so I'm going to um, start stamping away and coloring and um, I, I did do a video on this, so, um, okay, and then Sizzix this year, I don't know if they've had it before, but they came out some really cool Christmas, um, dies. I love the shape of this, but they also have the embossing folder, which is so cool. So you cut it out, put, put the die cut in here. And then it just embosses it beautifully. And um, this is kind of a, oh, I don't know. I, I kind of think of it as almost like a Scandinavian look maybe. But it's really pretty. I made a bunch of uh, ornaments for gift cards or for um, gift tags. And people really liked it. So, um, okay, so that's that. And then I also finally bought some VersaFine onyx black and I find that for me and I don't know if it's a temperature thing but for me this works the best for Copic coloring it just has a really nice clean it doesn't blur or, or uh, you know get muddy or anything so I really like that I've had VersaFine in the past but just never the black I usually I always got it in colors I don't know why and then this is fun um, this was a Yoli suggestion. Uh, they sell this felt at Michael's. It's from Feltworks, Dimensions Feltworks. And this is really fun to um, use as, um, you know, to die cut flowers or shapes. And they come in really nummy colors. And then, of course, my all-time favorite love are vintage buttons. I have a milk bottle of every color combination you can think of. Um, I just, I use them a lot. And then um, last but not least is I have been looking for this big scallop border punch for ages. And Miss Yoli being again, I, I asked her, I said, you know, because she uses it. And I said, where did you get that? I'm trying to find it. And she said it's at Michael's or Joanne's. I looked at every Michaels and Joanne store in the Twin Cities and nobody had it. So she bought it for me and sent it up and thank you, Loli. So here's all my goodies. Um, oh, and then I'm supposed to tag somebody. <gasps> I forgot to write down. Okay. I'm going to tag. Oh my gosh. I, I forgot one thing. I'll be right back. I totally, I didn't totally forget because I remembered. Um... This, these NJ Garden Girl, Sharon, sent me these because she uses them a lot on her, um, like, mail when she mails something out, she uses that to stamp the address. It's really cool. She sent me these. These are, like, I use these all the time. I love them. 
they are so cool and they sell them at Michael's. I think they're just like either way on the bottom shelf or way on the top above the um, Michael stamps. So they're just fun. So I forgot about that or almost did. Anyway, so that's um, okay. So I got to take somebody, but I don't know. I know I'm going to do Carrie Drummer's Girl. Um, let me think. Everybody's been doing it. Um, um, let me think. Why don't you know what I'm gonna do? I gotta really think about it because I know a few of the people I thought of have already done it, so I don't think we want to do this uh, round again, do we? <laughs> but anyways, so those are my fun things, my favorites. My um, hope I showed you something that maybe you hadn't seen or thought about. Um, but anyways, that's my 2011 favorites. Thanks for watching. Bye.